Stuber out in cinemas now, a new buddy cop comedy action film slash uber commercial. So Dave Batista plays a hardened macho type LA cop, always shouting, always in your face, who is working the case of a gangster that killed his former partner. Uh, he seems to be getting nowhere with the case, uh, and the case itself is soon to be passed to the FBI. And Vincent himself, because that's the name of the cop, um, takes a few days off, partly due to a LASIK surgery that's supposed to fix his eyesight. On the day of the surgery, though, when he's still recovering and basically he's practically blind, he gets a tip about uh, a deal going on that very evening with the gangster that he's tracking, and he's determined to use this opportunity to um, catch him finally, but obviously he can't even drive himself to investigate this lead. Enter Kumail Nanjiani's character, Stu, who is an awkward underachiever, who works at a sports equipment store, uh, plans to open a women-only gym with together with his good friend that he's in love with, but doesn't know how to tell this to her. And most importantly, he drives an Uber part-time as well. So you can see where this is going. Vincent orders an Uber, uh, Stu shows up and basically gets kidnapped and by the crazy policeman and sort of dragged through uh, this, this series of increasingly wild adventures. Now, this premise sounds like something out of a really silly comedy, and that is indeed the case. Stuber uses a lot of this crude, simple humor, lots of physical comedy, lots of slapstick, uh, almost. Um, characters just shouting at each other, all of this while the story itself is going through the rather predictable beats of a buddy cop movie from the 1980s. So normally that would make me groan and just skip the movie altogether, not sounding very interesting. But I have to say, I like this one, and the reason is very simple, and it's the casting. Both Nanjiani and Bautista are quite charismatic uh, screen presences on their own. They're decent actors in their own right, and they've got good comedic, comedic timing, uh, which they've shown in their previous films. But the thing that really works is that they are basically polar opposites of each other in this film, physically, obviously, but also in terms of their characters. Batista is imposing and loud and angry, confident or even overconfident at times, never really accepting the fact that he may need the help of someone else, or is wrong. Uh, Nanjiani, on the other hand, uh, plays Stu as a really non-confrontational cowardly, uh, character, cowardly, uh, to the point of being slightly annoying even. Um, yet he is kind of a kind-hearted guy, you know, on deep on the inside. And this clash of personalities and the chemistry between the actors especially uh, work really, really well and are clearly the best thing about the film. I was also surprised by the amount of action, specifically physical stunts and shootouts and explosions. There's a lot going on here and it's all done rather well, I have to admit, and I was certainly entertained by the movie. Is it silly then? Yeah. Is it slightly cliched and not really very original or deep? Yeah, sure. But it's not really trying to be. Uh, Stuber is aiming to be this silly yet fun little light comedy, and I think when you look at it that way, it does its job 